Hello everyone. In this video, we will be writing exponential equation of the form y equals ab to the power x given a table. So in this equation that we have y equals ab to the power x, our a is the starting value, or this is otherwise called as the initial value, or the value of y when x is zero. And our b here is the growth factor, or decay factor, or pretty much like the multiplier. So let's take this example right here. We determine what equation of this form should work for this um, table right here. So first, we are going to determine what the a is. Again, we have uh, defined the a here. Our a is the value of y when x is 0. So when x is 0, this is our a. So this is the value that we're looking, that we're going to look for in order that we can find our a. So our a here is 3. Again, a is the value of y when x is 0. And then after that, so we already, we already have the a. Now we will look for the b. So the b is the multiplier. So in this problem right here, how, um, what number do we multiply each time in order that we can get the next uh, value. So in this case right here from 3, what number do we multiply to make it a 6? So that would be times 2. So it's going to be multiplied by 2 each time. So 6 times 2 would be 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. 48 times 2 is 96. So pretty much like our B, which is the multiplier, is to in this um, problem. Now I'll give you a trick on how to find for b the fastest way. So we can solve for b actually by dividing this number over its previous number. So that would be 6 over 3. Or you can also use um, 12 divided by 6, which is still 2, or uh, 24 divided by 12 is still 2, so 48 divided by 24 is 2, so pretty much like undo doing it backwards. So um, to undo multiplication, we're going to, that's actually division, the operation that would undo multiplication is division, so we're going to divide the number that is previous to it. So pretty much like it's going to be 2. So that's the fastest way to determine B. So our B is still 2 right here. Okay, so we're now ready to write the equation. And the equation that we're going to have here would be Y is equal to, that's our A is 3. And then we can use the parentheses for that. That's multiplication. Our B is 2 to the power X. Or others would write this as Y equals 3, and then they put a, um, a dot. Again, a dot would mean uh, multiplication still. So that is to the uh, uh, 2 to the power x. Or in function notation, we can rewrite this as f of x is equal to 3, and then parentheses 2 to the power x, or we can use this one as well. So this is the equation that would work for this table. So I'm going to put this inside the box. So that's the equation for this table right here. Okay, at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So first, we have to look for the A. So again, our A value is the starting point or this is the initial point, or this is the value of y when um, x is 0. Now, here's the thing, because others are going to think that our a is 8, because that's, oh, the, that's no. the starting. That is not the way how we do it. So others would, commit the, would uh, get this mistake. You, we are going to look for when the x is 0. So it's, it, it doesn't have to be at the beginning. So this is the value that we're going to look for, okay? The x is 0. Again, it doesn't have to start at the beginning. So we have to look for the x that is 0. And so our a here is 1 fourth. And then we look for the B. Again, we are going to determine what number was multiplied each time so that we get the next number. But then I give you a trick already that the fastest way to uh, find the B is to divide the number before of this number and then divide it by the number before it. So that would be 4 divided by 8. So we can reduce this to that's going to be 1 half. So it's going to be half. So each time this was multiplied by one half. So 
8 times 1 half would be 4, or half of 4 would be 2. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 1 is 1 half. So that's times 1 half. And then half of a half is 1 fourth. So pretty much like our B is um, 1 half. So we're going to multiply each time by a half. So then our B here is 1 half. So then we can go ahead and set up our equation as y is equal to our a is one fourth and then the b is uh, one half raised to the power x or in function notation that's f of x is equal to one fourth parentheses one half to the power x others would want to use a dot instead of parentheses that is still correct did you get the same answer as this good Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So first, again, we are going to look for A. The A again is not this one because others are going to think that, oh, that's the oh, initial no. value. So that means it's this. That is, not the, uh, that is not the A. Our A value is actually the Y value when the X is zero. So we're going to look for the X that is zero and we can uh, label that. And that's actually negative eight. So our A is negative eight. And to look for B, again, our B is the number that we multiply each time so that we can get the next number. So what, what number do we multiply to this to get to the next one? So others may, uh, may look at this one right here. So because these are whole numbers here, so we can go ahead and say, because the, uh, the interval here or the multiplier would be the same for each of them. So it's faster that we look at those whole numbers instead of fractions, though you can still work on with fractions that would still be correct. The answer would still be the same since the um, multiplier here, here is the same for all of them. But we can go ahead and look at this one here, 200. So our B here would be negative 200 and we're gonna divide it with the number that is before it, which is negative 40. So our B therefore is positive five. So then if you multiply this by five, it would come out to that, multiply this by five, multiply this by five, multiply this by five, then multiply this by five. So our multiplier is five. So we're gonna write five over here. So then our equation therefore is y equals, our a is negative eight, parentheses, five to the power, x or in function notation we can rewrite this as f of x is equal to negative 8 parentheses 5 to the power x so looking at this uh, problems here this are the equations that would work for this table right here and in this problem right here this um these two are the equations that will work for this table up here did you get the same answer as this good Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!